Hey everybody, Chad with Patriot Astro, and I've got a very quick tip for you today. Another advanced sequencer tip, and I'm gonna keep this one quick and to the point. I'm gonna show you briefly how you can maybe use this right now, but I will also, moving forward, modify my approach to the advanced sequencer specifically around the shared templates that I've posted on my website so that we have a cleaner looking sequence. And let me let me show you what I mean here. So if I come into the advanced sequencer, you know, we've got these templates and these are the ones that are shared on my website. If you're not familiar with that, here's a picture of the video. You can go track that down. I'll put the link in the comments. But also, you know, we've got this sequence start and sequence end, and we'd kind of used sequence end before, but we had to keep dragging it in. And we didn't really use sequence start. I went and embedded that into my templates that were used for every target. Now we can clean that up a bit, potentially, if we did something like this, where we actually took maybe uh, my end imaging session and dropped it here. And again, so what does my end imaging session look like now? It's basically just a parallel container that says warm the camera, park the scope. That's what we want to have happen at the end of the evening. So now the beginning of the evening, we have a sequence start, right? So the sequence start could be something like cool the camera, unpark the scope, uh, maybe any other number of things that you want to do. And again, I'm not gonna build this out yet. I'll share this later. This right now is just a quick tip to get it out in front of you. I'll clean up this approach and I'll put another video together. But I wanted to get this in your hands quickly so that any of you imaging this week could maybe take advantage of this concept. So now I've got this here. So, so what do we have? We basically have a startup in place and an end in place. And now anything I drop in between doesn't need to have an unparked scope, doesn't need to have uh, a cool the camera, right? So, and there's a number of other things I might, might actually add to the basic sequence startup. So now what do I do with this, right? Well, one option is to actually go ahead and save this to a JSON file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this as my template framing. So I'll just be my rough template framing, and we're gonna go ahead and save that. So what can we do now, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Well, interestingly enough, in your options, in your profile, what you can actually do when you go to imaging is down here we have a startup sequence template. And what I can actually do here is say, okay, my startup sequence template, I wanna define as that template framing JSON. Now that this is in place, let's go ahead and close out of Nina. Now I've got a bunch of stuff connected. I'm not gonna worry about that, it'll complain. But I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this and close it down. Now let's go ahead and restart Nina. When I restart Nina, I'm not gonna have anything connected, that's okay. But let's go take a look here at the advanced sequencer. Notice what's in place automatically it automatically preloaded upon every start of Nina from this point forward, this basic template. And I could have populated anything I wanted here because it saved both the start and end. So again, go ahead and start using this thought process to maybe streamline some of your own imaging and your sequences. I'm gonna go ahead at some point soon and clean up the advanced sequences to work within this framework and methodology so that it's just a little bit easier as you drag and drop multiple targets so that we always don't have to delete multiple commands from the target sequences we drag into place. Again, I originally embedded uh, some of the startup sort of mentality into each individual sequence, and now we're not gonna have to do that, right? We're gonna have a startup sequence that's gonna frame it out, and then from there we just drag targets. Let me know if you have any other great ideas. I'd love to incorporate anything you've come up with yourself. And as always, clear skies.